I dreamed I was a cowboy, riding with the wind upon my palomino, staring into the gloom, focusing on the fringes, the fraying edges where a herd becomes cows, heifers, steers, and calves. It's the unprotected perimeter where the simple defense of safety in numbers begins to wane. And that's where they wait. And that's where I watch for wolves. Immoral interlopers that lurk and sneak and snatch, tracking a careless calf and crushing its throat and their jaws. Jaws that need no justification. Jaws that know nothing but need. Nothing but the feeling of feeding, feeding, feeding as they lick the bleeding open wound with a passion not unlike the livid lust of love. And I know that passion. I know. I know, riding my Palomino, late into the night, thinking about that bitch I bought a beer from two months ago, thinking about the smile that turned the corner of her mouth into a pouting pit of passion, need, and hope. As I stared, and she walked away, burning a hammer into the heart of my desire. So tell me, someone, anyone, the outriding ravisher, programmed to pursuit, rising to the tune of tiny whimpers like an angel in search of God, is it the wolf, or is it me? And late at night, when the world is black and the wind blows and the wolf howls like a starving shadow seeking its lost soul. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I dreamed I saw a ballerina dancing in the sand. Worry weighing on her mind and, and manifesting in her hands. Hands that defined elegance and grace and fluid motion became busted butterflies, fluttering but broken. Drifting up and out around the head, exuding doubt. And as I watched, her feet were fighting, furrowed in the sand, struggling to peer wet and and leap into the sky, her face a mask of mystery and, and anguish pain, but, but why? I had to know, I had to know, and, and so I broke the plane, separating me from her and found the ground at once, a super-saturated, moisture-laden quagmire, like a swamp, swallowing my soul through the underside of feet fastened to the legs that spread below my butt and gut. But, but what about the dainty dancer that attracted me? How was I to rescue her if I was sinking too? Hello, I called. Hello, hello. But nothing filled the air but, but emptiness and sorrow in a moment that was bare. Bare of feeling, bare of healing, bare of consequence, bare of human dignity and and bear of common sense. Come back, I said, but she was gone. And with her was a wish, a promise and a hope, like a memory of fish, silver slivers, living in a fluid world away, shining and ephemeral and reeking of the truth, but somewhere just beyond our reach, like a recollection of a bubble bouncing on the beach. I dreamed I was in a train wreck. 
It was late at night and I was asleep. Well, I guess I had to be asleep if it was a dream, but well, I was asleep in the dream. And then I woke up with this thundering and crashing as something huge and dark, like a flying whale, wedged its way into the sleeping car, pushing and shoving. And I found myself riding the whale deeper and deeper into the sleeping car until the sounds of pain and people dying all around me got louder and louder. Then I was finally thrown up into the air and landed on the tracks. And a coat came down on my back, a coat made out of beaver skins. And I kept thinking about those poor, skinless, naked beavers waddling around, and I felt so bad. Then, suddenly it was later, and we were trying to do a show. But so many people were dead, we couldn't do it. I mean, how can you have a trapeze act when there's no catcher? Nobody to grab folks when they fly through the air. Just two guys and a girl in tights going back and forth and back and forth. Then everything changed and it was a funeral with a giant grave with 50 coffins in it. The grave was surrounded by elephants, stone elephants standing on pedestals like they were guarding the dead as the band came marching up playing the entry of the gladiators and it got closer and closer and louder until it woke me up and I cried One night, during the fifth year of my presidency, a remarkable thing happened. I dreamed I was a blues singer. I know it's difficult to comprehend. Most people would probably see me as, oh, a Lawrence Welk type, or maybe Liberace, whatever. It was all during that Watergate nonsense. Okay. I probably had a little too much to drink, but I know they would have done it. I know it. Dumbass Democrats, hell. No balls bastards with that loser McGovern and his anti-war drivel almost as weak as Humphrey, that sanctimonious toad. Hell, we were winning that goddamn war. Anybody could see there was no need for that anti-war bullshit. We were winning, for Christ's sake. Anyway, there I was, standing on stage, my band vamping behind me, Ehrlichman on bass, Kissinger on piano, Al Haig on lead guitar, and Pat, Sweet Pat, on drums, and it happened. It just erupted right out of my mouth. It might be a spoon full of Congress. It might be a spoon full of fate. It's just a little spoon of their spiteful lies that I hate, 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 hate. That spoon, that spoon, that spoon full. That spoon, that spoon, that spoon full. That spoon, that spoon, that spoon full. Yeah. <laughs> 